Welcome back. We hope that you enjoyed Unit 1 of this course and are ready to learn more. The basic components of human communication will be expanded upon in each unit of this course. So it's important to understand this first unit before you move on to study interpersonal communication in Unit 2. In Unit 1 of this course, you learn the two models of understanding the process of communication, the linear model and the transactional model. The linear model shows communication in its simplest form, the basic elements of the process, the sender, the message, the channel, the receiver, and the noise. But we understand that human communication isn't that simple. So we use the transactional model to show that communication is a two-way transaction between the sender and the receiver. Communication within this model includes both verbal and nonverbal communication and can be written as well as spoken. Communication is at the heart of all our daily encounters. Whether it's having a conversation, solving a problem in a small group, or interacting with coworkers on an assignment for work, the models of communication that we've learned in Unit 1 affect everything. How and what we communicate to others informs the way we perceive messages and this, in turn, informs the way that we build relationships throughout our lives. Now that you understand the fundamentals of communication, it's time to move on to Unit 2, where we will apply these concepts and theories to a specific type of communication, interpersonal communication. Interpersonal communication is the process of exchanging messages between people whose lives mutually influence one another. We engage in this communication with friends, family, coworkers, and strangers we interact with on a daily basis. We use interpersonal communication strategies as we build relationships. As you work through the readings and interact with the multimedia elements of this unit, take notes of how the basic models of communication are used to develop relationships with new friends and coworkers. Also, reflect on the importance of developing good listening skills. Interpersonal communication skills are key to resolving conflicts too. Taking notes will really help you as you work your way through the assessment activities as well as to help you prepare for the final exam. Also, keep in mind that each unit of this course builds upon itself. Completing Unit 2 will prepare you for later units of this course. Best of luck and see you at the beginning of Unit 3.